गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी कंसेप्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्क्रीनिंग वॉट इज स्क्रीनिंग वाई डू वी नीड टू परफॉर्म स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कैरिंग आउट इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन आर नीड टू बी स्क्रीनड सॉर्टेड आउट so why do we need to screen the organism and the organism that should be screened which we call as production strain that is used for carrying out certain kind of pro product formation is called as a production strain and the production strain should be a high yielding strain it should give you a high yield production should be more it should have stable physical biochemical and genetic characteristics the organism should not produce any undesirable uh, undesirable substances or products it should not produce any toxic chemicals and it should be easily cultivable on large scale okay so the desired production strain should have these characteristics and that production strain strain needs to be isolated from any natural source that process is called as screening so when we begin when we study any industrial fermentation the first thing we need to do is isolate detect and isolate the organism so that is what is screening so what is screening what is the definition of screening detection and isolation of high yielding species from natural sources like soil which contains a heterogeneous microbial population okay so detection and isolation of a high yielding strain from soil which is a heterogeneous microbial population source is called as screening screening is generally of two types primary screening and secondary screening primary screening is always followed by secondary screening so what actually is screening detecting and isolating a particular microorganism from a natural source like soil or water which is having some industrial importance okay so let us discuss what is primary screening primary screening consists of certain elementary test that are required to isolate a new microorganism having desirable properties primary screening is involves certain elementary test required to detect and isolate new microorganism having industrial importance having desired properties microorganisms the now what kind of microorganisms do we detect microorganisms capable of producing organic acids antibiotics amines vitamins etc are isolated from natural resources by primary screening there are four different types of primary screening number 1 crowded plate technique number 2 oxanographic technique which involves using two plates plate 1 and plate 2 number 3 enrichment culture technique and number 4 use of indicator dye so there are four screening procedures four primary screening techniques crowded plate technique a crowded plate technique is used for isolation of antibiotic producing microorganism from soil oxanographic technique used for isolating growth factor producing organism growth factors like vitamins amino acids etc number 3 enrichment culture technique is used for isolating specific microorganism like enzyme producing microorganisms and number 4 use of indicator dye to isolate organic acid or amine producing microorganisms from soil so let us first discuss number 1 crowded plate technique this is the simplest screening technique employed or utilized for detecting and isolating antibiotic producing microorganisms okay so crowded plate technique is used for detecting and isolating antibiotic producing microorganisms from soil okay and the method involves preparing cereal dilutions of the soil and then detect the microorganism that produces antibiotic this method provides information regarding the inhibitory activity of colonies now what is the procedure we first have to take the soil sample or any other sample which we are using the sample like soil is serially diluted 
okay like 1 is to 10 dilution for 1 is to 10 dilution what we do in 9 ml sterile distilled water we will add 1 gram soil that will give you 1 is to 10 dilution okay so serially we have to dilute the soil sample like 1 is to 10 1 is to 100 1 is to 1000 1 is to 10,000 and so on and these diluted soil sample 1 ml aliquot of each diluted soil sample is added to a respective petri dish containing nutrient agar or any other agar gel which is rich in nutrients which will support the growth of microorganism. So first thing we need to do is serially dilute the soil sample, place 1 ml of soil aliquot into the petri dish, pour nutrient agar or nutrient medium into the petri dish, rotate the petri dish, allow the medium to solidify and incubate all the plates. After incubation, we take out the plates and you get crowded growth of microorganisms. Now, what we look for into each plate, scientists select the plates having large number of colonies and then look for the colonies that have inhibited the growth of other microorganism or rather we can say that in the crowded colony in the plate having crowded colonies we select those colonies of microorganisms which are surrounded by a clear zone of inhibition clear zone of inhibition of growth okay these colonies are produced by microorganism which have the ability to produce antibiotics and kill or inhibit the growth of other organisms okay so from thousands of colonies that are present on the plate we select those colonies which are surrounded by a clear zone of inhibition that is called as that zone of inhibition is because that microorganism has secreted certain chemical which has killed the surrounding microorganism or which has uh, inhibited the growth of surrounding microorganism okay such colonies which are surrounded by a clear zone of growth inhibition are picked up and transferred to another plate so that they can be further purified and isolated but most of the time so this crowded plate technique is very simple simplest method to find out antibiotic producing microorganisms from soil it is very rapid and you get the results very fast but before we use the microorganism on large scale in industry we have to confirm whether it really produces any antibiotic and that is done by secondary screening technique okay so this is about crowded technique the first look at the diagram and see we have first subject the soil to serial dilution then plating on the respective plates okay and then each plate is studied to check whether which colonies are surrounded by so you can see here in 10 raised to minus 1 plate too many number of colonies are there 10 raised to minus 2 also too many number of colonies 10 raised to 3 and 4 you can clearly see there are certain colonies whose growth is surrounded by a clear zone that is called as zone of inhibition, clear zone of growth inhibition. Such colonies which are surrounded by a clear zone of uh, inhibition, okay, are selected and further purified for to check whether they really produce some kind of antibiotic. Okay, the second method of screening is oxanographic technique. So the first method is crowded plate technique used why it is used for selecting or for isolating antibiotic producing microorganisms from soil. The second technique is oxanographic technique. Oxanographic technique is employed for detecting microorganisms which are able to produce growth factors, vitamins, amino acids etc extracellularly extracellularly means the organism will produce these growth factors and secrete it out of the cell secrete these growth factors are secreted out from the cell wall of the microorganism so we call them extracellularly so oxanographic technique is employed for detecting microorganisms capable of producing growth factors like vitamins amino acids extracellularly okay the procedure involves two steps as I told you earlier, it involves utilization of two plates. Number one, so first step is preparation of plate one, preparation of first plate. In this plate, we take a filter paper strip and it is put in an agar plate, uh, uh, petri dish. 
we take a filter paper strip it is put across the bottom of the petri dish then we pour nutrient agar on the paper and allow it to solidify put the nutrient agar on the paper and allow it to solidify then we prepare serial dilution of soil sample and it is inoculated in this plate so we place a filter paper strip then pour nutrient agar on the filter paper disc and then the add diluted soil sample so the medium is inoculated with the soil then we prepare second plate in the second plate what we do is we pour medium which is called as minimal media minimal medium is poured into the petri dish minimal media is the media that lack the growth factor minimal medium contains uh, uh, in the minimal medium the important growth factors required by the microorganisms are missing so it is a deficient medium it does not contain ingredients required for growth of organism which we call as growth factor okay this medium is seeded with test organism say so test organism for example e coli and this organism requires certain growth factor and that growth factor is missing in the medium in the second plate and hence the medium is called as minimal medium and if you incubate the minimal medium along with e coli e coli will not grow because the growth factor required by the microorganism is missing in the plate okay so now what we have to do is we have to check whether this growth factor is produced by the microorganism present in soil so what we do first plate in the first plate we take up in the first uh, step we take a petri dish uh, keep a round filter paper disc on a we place a sorry we place a filter paper strip then a round filter paper pour medium inoculate with soil sample and in the second plate you take minimal agar medium inoculate with the test organism okay and the seeded medium uh, the medium is poured into the petri dish okay and the plate is allowed to set then then what we do is carefully we lift the with the help of the filter paper strip carefully we lift the agar in the first petri dish and place it on the second petri dish okay carefully with the help of the filter paper strip we lift the agar that was present in first petri dish and place it on the medium minimal medium on the second petri dish so the first petri dish medium contains soil microorganism and the second petri dish contain test organism in minimal medium so now there are two layers of media the lower layer is minimal medium with test organism the upper layer is nutrient medium with soil microorganism okay and the plate is incubated okay then if the microorganism present in soil produce the growth factor that growth factor will diffuse from the upper layer of agar into the lower layer of the agar containing test organism and the test organism will utilize the growth factor produced by microorganism in soil so wherever whichever colony from soil whichever microorganism from soil produce the growth factor that at that place we will find zone of stimulated growth of microorganism stimulated growth of test organism around the colonies okay so there are two plates number 1 with nutrient medium and soil soil isolate number 2 minimal medium with test organism the soil the medium inoculated with soil is placed over the minimal medium containing test organism if the microorganism present in soil produce growth factor growth factor diffuse into the medium it is used by the test organism present in the lower layer and the test organism will grow and you can see spots where or growth of the test organism is stimulated and that part that colony which secretes the growth factor present on the upper layer will be selected for further testing okay so this is how we do it serial dilution of soil sample is first done then soil aliquot this is a filter paper strip 
and above the filter paper strip there is a circular filter paper where we have poured the agar and then we add the uh, soil uh, soil aliquot okay this is the second plate second plate at the bottom there is minimal agar plus test organism and on the top of it we place nutrient agar and soil aliquot and then incubate the plate after incubation okay you can see stimulated growth of test organism in the lower layer so the place where you get stimulated growth at that place the microbes present in soil have produced the growth factor those colonies are uh, from the upper layer are selected and can be utilized further for selecting uh, for uh, subjected to secondary screening they are further subcultured and subjected to sec secondary screening to make sure that they produce growth factors extracellularly so crowded plate technique for isolating antibiotic producers from soil oxanographic technique for isolating growth factor producing microorganism in soil number 3 is enrichment culture technique that we will you'll see in next video we'll stop here